Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a curved screen mockup for your UI screens. So let's get started. Let's create a new document. Give it a height of 2160 and a width of 2700. Let's unlock the background layer. Let's open the dashboard screen and the background image we will be working with in Photoshop. Click and drag the dashboard to the hotboard. Select Command or Ctrl 3 to resize the dashboard to fit. Select Command or Ctrl I to invert the background layer. Let's select the rectangle tool to draw the size of the dashboard screen. Delete the dashboard screen and give the rectangle a radius of 40. Convert the rectangle into a smart object and rename it to Play Screen here. Give the layer a red color for easy identification. Select Command or Ctrl T. To adjust the perspective and wrap the rectangle to satisfaction. Duplicate the rectangle and rename it to other screen. Select Command or Ctrl T to scale and rotate to satisfaction. Make more copies and arrange them. Double click on the smart object icon of the place screen here. Now click and drag the dashboard to the rectangle layer. Select Command or Ctrl T to resize the dashboard to fit. Select the rectangle layer, hold down command or control, and then left click to create a selection. Now select your dashboard layer and apply layer marks. Hide the rectangle layer, select command or control S to save. Now let's go back to our mockup to see the screens. Looking good already, right? Let's bring our background image. Select Command or Ctrl T to resize the background image to fit.
Rename the layer to background image. Delete layer 0. Navigate to adjustments and apply hue and saturation. Colorize to match the hue to the theme of your UI screen. Select other screen, navigate to filter, blur, motion blur. I use the distance of 50 here. You can use any value you feel it's okay. Hold down Alt or Option, then click and drag the motion blur filter to the other screens. Select the other screens, group and rename them. You can adjust the placement of the main screen if need be. Double click on the layer to apply drop shadow. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe, like, comment and share for more. Take care and see you next time.